Hello once again, YouTube. Major Tom 2417 here with the sixth day of Christmas. And much like the fifth day of Christmas, we have a game about running very fast, collecting power ups and such. Except this time, it's not a hedgehog, it's a rabbit. Jazz Jackrabbit in Holiday Hair 1995. Now, there are two versions of Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair. 1995 is the one that I'm more familiar with. It has two stages. It has the awesome music, this incredible version of Carol of the Bells, which fans of LGR will recognize as he uses that version of the song for his intros for the Christmas or Christmas videos he does this time of year. So, yeah. Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair, 1994. Now, I have a lot to say about this game because I do remember playing it at Christmas. And more importantly than that, I remember that it was on a compilation CD, the Cybernet Ultimate Game Pack, which is one of several compilation CDs that my uncle had. And there was another version of that CD, the Zodiac Ultimate Game Pack, which contained different games. One of which was the shareware version of Jazz Jackrabbit. But not the Holiday Hair version, oddly enough. So that's a bit strange and bizarre. Two versions of the same game. Well, two shareware versions. Holiday Hair, I think, was freeware. It was a complete experience in and of itself. You didn't need the full game to play it. But how these things go. Shareware gaming in the 90s was always fun. So, yeah. And I have distinctive memories of playing this one back in the late 90s, along with everything else on that Cybernet Ultimate Game Pack thingy. Uh, that time of year was very interesting, that year. One year in particular, because my brother had a benign, thankfully benign, thing. It was a tumor, or it was a mass of something in his leg. But again, thankfully it was benign, it was removed without incident. And yeah! So, my memories of this game are tied to that particular time of the year for that reason. I'd go to my uncle's house, spend the entire day over there, play this and all the other stuff on the Cybernet Ultimate Game Collection. Whatever it's called. It's on Amazon for stupid... Well, it was on Amazon for stupidly high prices, but my uncle still has the CD that he had back in the day. So I thankfully don't have to resort to uh, playing an arm and leg. Paying an arm and a leg. To reacquire that CD if I want it. So. Coked out red mice over there. And I just lost the bird. No! But anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Much like Sonic the Hedgehog, this game focuses on running very fast. Although, unlike Sonic the Hedgehog, this game gives you a gun. Well, Shadow the Hedgehog would later get a gun. And Shadow the Hedgehog will be in the next movie for Sonic the Hedgehog. As evidenced by the first teaser image for Sonic the Hedgehog 3, showing a close-up of Shadow's distinctive shoes. So that'll be lovely. Anyway, this is a very fun game. And... It's the first of the series thus far to actually be Christmas themed. Holiday hair, gingerbread men, candy all over the place, the music. Even if I suck at it. Uh, yeah, this is actually a Christmas themed title. First in the series to be one. So, hooray for that. Get to those. Anyway, I 
am, of course, playing this via DOSBox. My uncle actually bought the entire... Well, he bought Jazz Jackrabbit from Epic Mega Games back in the day. Alas, they didn't have the original manual. They printed out a version of the original manual that didn't have the comic book, where they took pot shots at the likes of the Ninja Turtles and Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, I understand why they didn't include that in the reprinted manual, because they didn't want to get screwed over by copyright lawyers. But... Which is probably also the reason why later versions of Jazz Jackrabbit eliminated the code that slowed the game down and changed its palette to be more like Apogee games, which was a very cheap shot at stuff like Duke Nukem, or Duke Nukem 2. You know how it is. But yeah! Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair, the first of the series, it actually is of a Christmassy theme. And a cheerful seasonal nature. Very good stuff. And I do have a history with this one, because like I said, I played it back in the day. So there's that. At any rate, I would like to thank you all so very much for liking, watching, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, I advise and suggest you stay tuned for more. This is Major Tom 2417 for the sixth day of Christmas.